next one I'll show you is the half double crochet. This one's kind of a cross between a single crochet and a double crochet. So we've got eight stitches chained here. I'll do two more chains just for the height of this half double crochet row. Uh, so that'll put my first stitch into the third chain from the hook, this one right here. So just like the double crochet, you'll yarn over before you insert it and you'll pull another loop through. But instead of doing two then two, you'll yarn over and just go through all three at once. So we'll do that again. Yarn over, insert into your stitch, yarn over, pull through all three of them. So you get kind of short, squatty stitches that are not as tall as a double crochet, but taller than a single crochet. So that's the half double. Yarn over, insert, pull through, go through all three. So it's important when you're practicing these stitches or when you're actually working on a pattern to keep count of what stitch you're on. Uh, for this one, I'm just not really counting and I'm following how many chains I had in my first row, which is pretty typical, but it's a good idea, especially when you're starting out, when you get to the end of the row, say I was here. Do I stitch in that last one or is that just part of the knot? If it's hard for you to tell, and especially until your stitches are really even, it may be hard to tell, come back to your hook and count backwards how many of these flat loops do you have? Not counting the one on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means I do need one more because my chain was eight. So yarn over. I do technically have a loop right here. And now I have eight stitches. So if you don't count as you go along, if you're just kind of following stitching one in every stitch, do take the time to go back and count, especially when you get to the end of the row, because that's the easiest place to make a mistake. Uh, you can you know, accidentally drop a stitch anywhere along the way, but it's most common that you'll accidentally add or drop one when you get to the ends of the rows. So now I'm here in the end of the row. I'll do my two chains, turn. So I skip those two chains I just did and go back in my last full stitch, which was the blue. Yarn over, pull through, go through all three. All right, and that's the half double crochet.